Starring Cloris Leachman, John Shepard, George Chandler, and John Provost as Timmy. And, of course, Lassie. Who won? Nobody. We didn't finish. Got a flat tire? Yeah. Uh, one of you kids hand me that wrench. Thanks. Hey, that's some dog. She's mine. Her name's Lassie. She'll look at the man, Lassie. Howdy, ma'am. You got a mighty polite dog there. Thank you. Like see? Okay. Wow, me. She. Take him to the zoo in Capital City. Where did you get them? Oh, they come from all over the world. Could we? I mean, could you? Sure. You can look around while I finish changing the tire. Up you go. Uh, you better tell Lassie to stay down here, though. She won't like the animals, and they won't like her. Okay. Lassie, you sit down there. And don't touch any of them. They're all wild, you know. Oh, here's some uh, fish. You can feed the penguin. He won't hurt you. Wow, we A penguin? Straight from the South Pole. First one for the zoo. Better hurry up and get him there. He doesn't like this warm weather much. Well, have fun. We will. Thank you. <laughs> Why is his face so red? I don't know. Maybe he's mad at something. Uh... <laughs> Those are birds. My Uncle Peter says a bird in your hand is worth two in a bush. We'd want that bird in his hand, not me. What's that? I think it's a kangaroo. I've seen a picture of a kangaroo. He's too small. Maybe he's a baby. Here, penguin. Okay, boys, off you go. Gotta get this tire to a gas station. Guess I got lost, buddy. Can you tell me how to get the house, Chester? You better get down. You don't want that push to do that. I love my space watch up in the penguin's cage, and I'm gonna get it. How do you know? You could have left it anywhere. It came off my arm while I was trying to get it out of the penguin's cage. Let go. <laughs> Do. I couldn't get my arm out. The 
I think a story. And maybe arrest you and put you in jail. I didn't steal him. He just fell in the truck. Nobody would believe that. And, and they'll think I helped you. I know. We can tell my dad. He can help us. Sure, go on and tell him. You don't have to be scared. You didn't do anything we're told not to do. But if your dad tells my father I climbed in the back of that truck, I won't be able to sit down for a year. Well, you had it to get your watch. It won't make any difference, not after I've been told a hundred times. Maybe my dad won't tell your dad. And maybe he will. You're my sworn blood brother, and you can never get me into trouble. You promise. I won't. Well, what are we gonna do? I know. We'll just wait here until the man finds out he lost his penguin, and then he'll come right back and we'll give it to him. He won't find out until he gets to the zoo. Penguins come from the South Pole. And if they're not in the cold place, they'll... they'll die. He looks like he's sweat. Maybe he's got a temperature. I know. We could put him in your icebox. He won't fit. You got an ice house. It isn't very big. Okay. You and Arthur. Arthur. Don't you think that's a good name for him? Okay. What do you want us to do? You stay here with him. And I'll go see if the coast is clear. And when I give you the signal, you take Arthur and run to the ice house. Okay? Okay. Come on, Arthur. from that greeting. It's usually followed by, imagine seeing you here. Huh? Nothing to me. Tell me, what was all that about? Well, what about? Oh, that. Well, while you're trying to think up a reason, I'll put the eggs in the kitchen and go to the ice house for some milk, okay? I'll get the milk for you, Mom, please. Please? I must be ill. Okay, you come in the house for a picture. Just a second. There's something I gotta do first. All right. Fishing with Scott. Fishing? Now? I told him he wouldn't catch nothing. But I need some milk and he insisted. Seemed like he was in an awful hurry. I don't know what's going on with him. First I find him acting like a human semaphore. Then he pleads to get some milk and then doesn't. And now he's gone fishing. Busy man. Would you have a minute to get some milk for me now? Sure. Where's the pitcher? Oh, right there. Don't spill any.
look over there. Wash for supper. Just a second, Mom. It's late. Dad and Uncle Peter will be here any minute now. But, Mom. You too, Scott. Your mother said you could stay too. But, Mrs. Bowie, there's something we gotta do first. You've been dashing around having to do something or other all day long. Now, inside, march. Piece of machinery. You, you figure it's worth that kind of money? Well, when you save time, you save money. I can sell. Uh, hello, Scott. Hi, boy. Hello. Well, did you catch anything? No, just a couple little ones. I told you. 
Where's your blood brother? I think he's upstairs with Mrs. Martin. Is he all right? No, sir. I mean, uh, yes, sir. He's fine. What's the matter with you, boy? You look like rain. He's guarding that icebox so we won't eat everything in sight before supper. Oh, girl. You guarding something, too, huh? Scott, a Timmy wants to see you in his room. I don't know what's wrong with those two today. What did you do with Arthur? He's in the icebox. Did you get him out there before Dad and Uncle Petrie came? I didn't say ice house, I said ice box. Ice box? Mom will open the door and find me. Maybe she won't have to get anything out of it. You better get out there and make sure nobody opens the ice box door until we get Arthur out. What did you two fellas do today? Oh, nothing. You must have done something with all that coming and going. We just saw a truck with a flat tire and... And? We just stopped for a little while. Well, what is that? <coughs> I just swallowed down the wrong pint. This is sure good, Mrs. Martin. Well, thank you, Scott. Would you like some more? I'll get it for you. No, I don't want any more. Scott. You must be tired, Mom. I mean, you work hard all day. Why don't you and Dad and Uncle Petrie go into the parlor after supper? Me and Scott will wash the dishes. Are you serious? Yes, Mom. Well, no, I think that's a wonderful idea. Come on, Scott. We'll start cleaning the table now. Huh? Oh, sure. Boy. Well, let do it. Maybe we'll find out why when they finish. Is there anything he's been wanting lately? Whoa there, boys. Let a man finish. Any more butter, Ruth? Yes, I'll get it for you. You can have mine. Mine, too. Uh, boys, fellas, now suppose somebody tells us just what... I'll get it. Hiya, kid. Hello, Lassie. I'm sorry to barge in on you like this. Won't you sit down, have a cup of coffee? Well, thank you, ma'am. I'll just be a minute. I was delivering some animals to the zoo in Capital City. And... Animals? Zoo? Uh-oh. What'd you lose? A penguin. I found the broken crate out in the road in front of your place and was wondering if uh, maybe you'd seen it around or help me out. Timmy. Scott. Come here. <clears throat> now, boys, have you seen a penguin around here? A what? A penguin. Don't you think Lassie would have seen a penguin if there's one around? Dad didn't ask you if Lassie saw a penguin, Timmy. If Lassie didn't see a penguin, how could I? Timmy. Did you see a penguin around here, Scott? A what? Well, now, maybe we'd better ask Lassie, since you keep bringing her into this. Lassie, have you seen Don't a thing? ask her. She didn't have anything to do with it. Oh? We didn't steal them. Honest, he just fell out of the truck. I had to get my watch and my arm got stuck and you started to drive away We and... didn't know how to give them back. But well, we kept them real cold. <laughs> you took real good care of Wesley. Can't thank you both enough. Wesley? Is that his name? We've been calling him Arthur. Well, that's what we'll call him from now on. Uh, I guess me and uh, Arthur better be going. Thanks again, fellas. Yeah, let me give you a hand here.
Well, thanks again. Oh. So long, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye